Hitler needs to change the Berghof for both practical and political reasons. He needs space for servants, he needs space for diplomatic visits. All of these things are necessary at the Berghof, so it has to be expanded. On the other hand, and here he's really thinking strategically, he really wants to start staging himself as someone who is really uh, a presence in the world. It is a most stunning location, and if you go there today, you will see the same view that Hitler enjoyed from the terrace of his Berghof, this lovely sweep of countryside and impressive mountains and meadows. Still stung by his rejection from the Viennese Academy of Arts nearly 30 years previously, Hitler longed to be revered as an artistic visionary. He really is constantly transforming this artistic desire into other elements and channeling that into other parts of his policy in his life. Hitler hired top interior designer Gerdi Trost. Trost became exceptionally influential in Hitler's inner circle. New research has revealed the extent of her influence on key decisions as the Berghof underwent a revamp. Gedi Trost is Hitler's most important cultural advisor. She really becomes Hitler's sort of right-hand woman, if you will. She is someone that is helping and enabling the spaces of the Berghof to come together. She works closely with Hitler as a style counselor who is with him, leaning over tables, leafing through fabrics, talking in intimate detail about color schemes. She is the person responsible for his tableware, what kind of curtains you would have. Hitler rarely listened to advisors, but he did listen to Trost. Sometimes she agrees with him, sometimes she doesn't agree with him. And he tolerates that from her, perhaps because it's really about a kind of cultural debate and that he admires her as an artist. She talked him out of decorating the Berghof with Nazi paraphernalia. Instead, she introduced the more down-to-earth look of the German middle class with an added twist. The main living space of the Berghof is clearly massive. And in this sense, it has the proportions that are quite distinct from any other typical Bavarian farmhouse you might see. It's clearly meant to impress you, and it's really a perfect place for Hitler to stage his own personality as someone who's the grand master of this particular domain. And the great hall that he builds with this incredible window that can be a roll down to expose open air view of the mountains below. The final bill for the Berghof's transformation was five million pounds, a third of a billion pounds today. The complex included an army barracks for Hitler's bodyguards and luxury homes for his high command. It would continue to expand with a tea house for indulging his passion for cakes. And an intricate system of tunnels and bunkers for safety and escape. <laughs>